coming in live hi everyone this is chicho welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream today's live stream was a little delayed how many hours uh three and a half hour delay uh we had a little uh kitty cat incident happen so apologies about being late and uh today is february 18th 2021 and we're doing a investing in personal finance live stream specifically investing in comic books we're going to take a look at the return on investment of the first comic book haul that we did and i have some tables uh to go through with you guys and we're going to go through a fair bit of info right now and uh, i'm going to reference some videos and all the links will be in the description of this video um, once it's loaded on to uh, sensor to Pichute and rumble and uh, for those joining in live i'll be i don't have the links handy <laughs> been it's been a busy morning uh but we got all the tables and all the reference videos the images are going to pop up so you should be able to find the information speedy gonzalez style speedy gonzalez spot it was fantastic i've been i've been diving into these tables uh for the last three days i've been going down the rabbit hole because it's not it wasn't just generating tables it was also referencing the information trying to find the information but i'll go through that once people start rolling in birdie here how you doing what's up what's up bureaucracy kills hey dude i saw the tables good stuff i need to check up on some of the current prices of, of my stuff yeah it's crazy man for me i'll let you guys know like some of the stuff is not available like you can't find a price for it like my comic shop used to have a lot of stuff people are blowing out their inventory so uh, <laughs> like some of the stuff you just couldn't find uh on ebay it was e even hard to get a price because right now there's a lot of people selling that aren't uh grading the comics and the titles so you have to dig down and they're not even grading so you're like man what what did this thing sell for crack how are you doing good afternoon good afternoon spartan three three thousand four hello hello cheryl how are you doing ding bobber how's via's good via's passed out via's passed out the doctors gave him uh, some opioids <laughs> let's do spreadsheets elder god my man indeed i've been going down the spreadsheet rabbit hole and looking at data and stuff for three days super fun but oof taxing i need to stretch out the back birdie here just opened a cold one from the local brew oh dude you're gonna enjoy this elder god sal definitely did it dude you know you know sal did it i'll tell you guys the story um void let's go bureaucracy kills so much stuff is only listed at stupid inflation some of the stuff just, it's impossible to find so even the low grade stuff it's hard to find someone at low grade price as for the kitty cat incident uh while we wait for people to roll in as for the kitty cat incident uh sal likes going on this window sill that we have that's actually one story down because there's steps going down right and it's sort of a wine not windy but l-shaped stairs going down so it's pretty dangerous okay so sal likes going there and instigated it through via and via decided to follow him now sal was making his way back and we built a barrier so it was a little gap there sal was making his way back and via was going on the windowsill and i turned around and said hey <laughs> sal sorry via with sal on top of him with his leg try to turn around and come back and he slipped on the way down he hit the metal uh what do you call it the tri st uh, step ladder that we have on the way down he hit that flew over hit the railing on the stairs and then landed on the steps me and my partner were both like <gasps> sal was right beside me and sal was like Ooh, there, there goes via and as soon as via hit the ground sal's like jump down via 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 are you okay are you okay it was like <laughs> we're both <laughs> oh 
Oh my god, it was trippy, it was trippy. Uh, crack. Where it gets tricky with eBay now is when a best offer is accepted. Hard to get a solid idea of selling for really crack. So difficult. And some of the stuff people are getting, there's still amazing deals to be had on eBay. I, I've seen some stuff sell when I was doing these searches. Some stuff sell for a dollar that should have been sold for like 80. <laughs> and then some stuff that should be 80 was selling for 200 right i sold two raw books in the last two weeks on ebay it was a gamble but it paid off okay awesome crack good 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 thing bobber oh no chicho cats can fall from amazing heights but damn that sounds pain painful painful but we took him to the doctor and uh, you know we have to hand him over he can't go on covid restrictions and um they said it doesn't look like it's broken and it for cats and dogs supposedly every now and then if they take a serious hit their knuckles pop out so it looks like it's broken and then it pops back in so that's might have what happened might have been what happened but we're going to keep an eye on them and see how it goes but pretty good so far tough little kitty <laughs> sal <laughs> instigator gang uh, while we wait, we're gonna wait four more minutes or so. Give it a ten minutes, but I'm gonna give you guys my little intro. He must be tripping. <laughs> yeah, they gave him some liquid opiates to put around the don't not down the shoot down the throat, but uh, to be absorbed through the membrane, right? Talking about entheogen hardcore process. Gang, I am on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Chicho C H Y C H O. If you want to follow this work, if you want to know what this work is about, which is you're about to get an amazing stream that you're participating in to get a feel for what my work is about, which is basically all layered on mathematics, even the comic books, right? I don't put anything behind paywalls everything's creative commons share and share like if you enjoy this work if you think this work deserves your support support this work through patreon and for those of you who've been supporting this work through patreon thank you very much for the support gang it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this as well as the support we're getting on twitch for those of you here on twitch supporting this work following participating in the live stream subscribing liking i don't think they have a like commenting points bits conversation in the mods thank you very much for the support it is in large part because of your support that we're also able to do this right i do announce usually these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on parlor lo minds vk gab and twitter and we do have a discord page where people are sharing a lot of information all you got to do is come to our twitch channel anytime you want in the chat type in exclamation mark social and the discord page will pop up and you're welcome to join there and participate in the dis discussion uh elder god cats can kittens are a little more uh, vulnerable yeah yeah agreed I, I was uh me and my partner were shell-shocked poor kitten he was oh and he was so good about it man we'll show i think he, he just thought he was in trouble because <laughs> He fouled or heard himself, or he heard me go, Hey, we'll show 45. Hope everyone's doing well. My first live stream in a bit, we'll show. Welcome back, Chicho. Yes, let's do this. Sounds exciting. Awesome. Mathematical statistical spreadsheets. Nice. Shout out to the mods. Shout out to the mods, gang. Shout out to the mods. Salute, salute. V62P. Salute, mon ami. Quoi de neuf? If that says if that means how you doing i'm doing fantastic thank you very much gang for live streams we don't have any visuals and we definitely have visuals today we've got spreadsheets but when we don't have any visuals we do upload the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho and those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes to be gin diagenesis to be giant diagenesis hello chicho and mods been looking forward to this episode me too me too i'm working my i'm working hard on it to loving the data man v 26 p at uh, 62 p i come come in here from time to time and it's quite chill love awesome i'm glad you're enjoying it. ding bobber thank you very much for the twitch prime sub 
and we will be uploading this live stream this amazing amazing amount of data we're about to look at both or to sensor to pitch shoot and rumble okay if we have enough point we'll upload to odyssey as well but for sure it's going to go on sensor to pitch shoot and rumble and you can follow the work there and if you want the information uh to come to you uncensored then bit shoot and rumble is where you want to be at okay aside from that gang elder god hi my friend what's up translated ah hi my friend what's up translated awesome doing fantastic thank you very much v62p and i'm glad you're enjoying the chillness of these streams crack i agree i've been looking forward to this one haha <laughs> nice the real mc mike how are you doing gang i'm taking these down so dang, boom. now what are we doing today what are we doing today the first video i put out in 2015 regarding comic books was that i was going to share my love of comic books but not just the love of comic books but also the aspect of comic books which is related to publishing comic books which i've done which we haven't gone into yet as well as the aspect of collecting comic books or investing in comic books right we've done teasers of what where we're going with this information we put out one video where we put a spreadsheet online open source where people can go in there and manipulate the data and sort of talked about what could be collectible what may not be collectible and whatnot but one of the things i wanted to do was link up what we're doing regarding the comic book haul videos regarding the comic book videos in general the comic book content was to link that up to personal finance and investing and this is exactly where we're going with this right what we're about to do i got a lot of stuff here so let me show you give you the intro of what we're about to do i'm gonna hop over a little bit because i'm gonna fill the space up okay what we're about to do we go we're going to do an analysis of the comic book haul we had in 2015 where we bought two short boxes and i showed you what those two short boxes was what we ended up getting in those two boxes in the following two videos and this was both these videos were video number uh, we did an intro video we did a let me show you my comic book haul video we did six readings of comic books and then we did this right so this was these two videos were two of the this was the this haul was the first comic book haul video i did online okay and we're gonna do a lot more of these and we're gonna continue to collect comics invest in comic books right and the phase we're in right now is basically rolling through those comic book halls and taking a select amount of data to analyze vintage chicho i remember those vids indeed crack quickly chicho find the beanie <laughs> i almost always have a beanie with me man <laughs> so i found the beanie <laughs> right so I thought it was just for us to the first data set that we're going to look at the first set of comic books that we're going to look at to see what where the prices have gone was from the first comic book haul that we did and in that comic book haul we grabbed a whole bunch of valiant comics whole bunch of random comics a lot of horror comics or war comics okay kung fu comics and we grabbed 120 daredevil comics I'll show you the spreadsheet on that okay so this is in reference what we're about to do analyze the data in reference to the these two comic book halls that you see here and this is the data that we're going to look at right this is the spreadsheet that i uploaded during those comic book haul videos right yeah i sort of modified this a little bit but not really this is basically the spreadsheet that you saw during those two comic book haul videos uh, but I reduced the sick fakes. I took out the decimals and stuff like this. Back when Chicho used to just uh, use just for 
man <laughs> to hide his great just just banter right so this is what we ended up buying we bought Mar Marvel Comics Secret Wars. We're going to dig into these, by the way. Marvel Comics Secret Wars, GI Combat, Vertical Comic, War Comics. Um, we bought Tomb of Dracula. What a payout that that lot was. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, Tomb of Dracula, Giant Size Werewolf, and a whole bunch of other ones. And we bought Master of Kung Fu. And those lots that we bought in the green that you see, they were in really good shape. They were very fine plus to near mint that was the description of the videos that the person was selling and we looked at them then and i looked at them after that video as well and they're pretty much that right and gang just so you don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital as power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org and or our WikiLeaks and Julian Assange playlist. Oh, wait, bleach. What did we uh, do before Excel? What did we do? Right? Uh, Lotus, Lotus 1, 2, 3. That's what I was using before Excel. Right? And then the purple color that you see there is Valiant buys that we had. And the red that you see there is the Daredevil comics that we bought. What we bought. All of these comic lots that i ended up buying they were listed at buy it now with make an offer right so the buy it now price if when you if you scroll down the last three columns the third one up total without shipping right the buy it now price if i was just going to pay whatever he asked for was 622 dollars and all of these funds are in us dollars right i made him an offer on all these and he took all the offers except for one and i wish he he had he had taken as well <laughs> right <laughs> but my funds were limited i could only go for so high right uh we ended up making an offer of 467 dollars okay and he took it and it was 68 dollars in shipping and we ended up paying total of 535 dollars us um uh, he's about to call it yo chicho starsky how are you doing how's it going i was waiting for this awesome you're catching it right at the beginning brother okay so this was the spreadsheet we did and we opened up we you know it was a nice comic book haul asmr video we we're opening up the packages unboxing and taking a look at all of these comics which is a total number of comics that you see there it was 275 comics and per unit price it came out to a dollar 95 including shipping okay now oops we don't want that one we want this one this is the initial spreadsheet that we shared this is the updated spreadsheet okay now all i did was take three columns from the previous spreadsheet the price we paid okay total savings 165 dollars oh yeah i didn't calculate that but 165 dollars savings fantastic right so from the previous column from the previous spreadsheet we brought over price paid in february 2015 now I, I uploaded the videos in february i can't remember if i bought them in january or february but february 2015 right now void the number of comic books we kept right we got 275 comic books right unit price without shipping was a dollar 70 again i went down the bottom right three columns dollar 70 with shipping was dollar 95 I ran the price that you see there, the darker green, the darker purple, and the darker red. That's average price. Now the average price, we're gonna dig dig into these these rows. Each one of these rows has well the green has its own spreadsheet, the purple has its own spreadsheet, but the daredevils I broke broke them down into um, number one to ten, each one has its own spreadsheet as well. Okay, and all the links to these spreadsheets are on our patreon page and i'll have the link available in the description of this video do you see a mistake elder god tell me man i've been going three days on this right and trying to check prices you find mistakes you let me know i'll update these uh images right starsky yo do you still hold tesla no uh stock shot up to over 800 do you believe they will rise over one point i don't know starsky the market the market can do anything right if a stock that I was recommending three months ago, four months ago, six months ago, 
that was trading at $253 can go from $253 and in the last month, last week, hitting $67, while Tesla going from $800 to $1,500 is only double your money. A $3 stock going from $3 to $67 is a way better return, right? mean average mean average ah oh, the average is from four different websites okay this is what i collected the data from okay let me bring this up legend i'm going to show you this legend because we're going to bring up we're going to dig down into this thing right and by the way before i show you this the average price that we ended up getting we paid 535 this is the last row that we're looking at right now we paid 535 dollars and the stuff according to the average of the four websites that i could find right we use two price guides one retailer and ebay okay auction site right and this is estimate okay is going to be it's basically almost two thousand dollars which is 267 percent return if you include the shipping paid right so unit price we paid was a dollar 95 us the unit price right now is 214 us now you have to keep in mind that this information looks good so far okay awesome the price what we have right now this information okay is compiled from the data we're going to dig into is compiled from four again websites ebay my comic shop comics price guide and comic book realm and when i'm buying comic books when i'm doing heavy buys i check all of those websites basically at least three out of four i check to see what something is being sold for it's even it, it's it if it's even available to be bought there are some comic books that like half the comic books in this list you couldn't even buy on my comic shop you used to be able to buy almost anything on my comic shop not anymore on eBay some stuff you could buy some stuff was going for crazy price right ding bobber chicho my friend made 16 quintillion dollars in 30 minutes only by, <laughs> by entering his social security information into their insurance website he hasn't received the money but <laughs> yeah but I already sold my house <laughs> funny thing <laughs> I love it the checks in the mail the checks in the mail okay and by the way this little note down here italic prices in the tables are estimate there are no italics in this because this is the average uh data that i collected from all those right but in the next 12 tables that we're going to look at uh there's going to be italics in there and the italics are mainly used for my comic shop and ebay okay the reason i use italics for my comic shop was because it was really hard trying to find the comic books in the grade that i had them in listed so i was either doing an estimate based on the above comics or previous or comics that came afterward or i was guesstimating from my comic shop okay or looking at the grade that they had and doing a multiple to get the price of the grade that i had that we did in this buy for eBay, it's all italic, I believe. It should all be italic. Maybe like there's a handful that aren't. Okay, just so you know, don't take this data as set in stone. Okay, gang? Must be an old American joke. <laughs> I just made it up. It was, that's what it was. It was a funny joke, right? Now, let me take these down. Now, keep this in mind, okay? This is the table. Now, obviously, um we got formulas going on here right and here are the formulas that we're using we're using return on investment which is basically interest rate calculation or rate of return same deal right and it's return on investment roi and it's current price minus uh, price paid divided by price paid times 100 which is a percentage now before we do this let me show you one thing first of all now this these formulas right we covered in a video like three days ago two or three days ago two days ago i believe right in this video right here because 
I knew we're getting into this, we we're going to do this. So I did a little quick during our ASMR math tutoring session. Um, we went to a, our ASMR math tutoring board and we did uh, our calculations of how to calculate return on investment, which is also calculating interest rate, which is also rate of return. And we did we went through of how to calculate amortized um, yearly amortized or amortized return on investment ROI, which is basically taking your compound interest formula and rewriting it and calculating it for the R, right? Just doing a little algebra. And if you want to know how to do this mathematics, if you want to know, Void, if you want to know how to do this mathematics that we're doing in the spreadsheet, this is the video you want to go to, right? I don't have it up on BitChute and YouTube and uh, Rumble yet. It will be up tomorrow. For those of you that are watching this video on SensorTube, BitChute, or Rumble, the video is already up. And I'll have the link in the description of this video. And keep in mind, what we did there was basically a summary, a shorter, condensed version of what we did here for investing in personal finance videos where we looked at return on investment, ROI, how to calculate it in relation to US dollars versus Canadian dollars versus Bitcoin. And this is part of a series that we're putting out on SensorTube as a playlist. And I'm, I can't remember if this video is available on BitChute uh, or not. Uh, if it's not, I'll try to get it on there as well as Rumble. Okay, so the return on investment stuff, this is this is the video you want to look at if you want a little more detailed information with data, actual real life data, right? And if you want to know how the compound interest formula works, compound uh, calculations, interest calculations, where we actually do figure out the amortized uh, return on investment, okay, this is the video right here that you want to take a look at which is basically part of our asmr mathematics math and real life economics right and it should be part of our personal finance but i haven't included in the personal finance playlist this video right here where we talk about how to use that formula that you see right there and those are the formulas that you're seeing here okay which is covered in this this video right here right so if you watch this video it'll explain all of these formulas okay i'm so glad i watched and got a refresher i still love the investment videos for your child uh for, for your children <laughs> yeah i am still saving money for my nieces nice nice okay so these are the formulas that have been used to do the roi and the amortized return on investment and to do future calculations because I did a little calculation you'll see on the tables. Okay, let me take these guys down. Now, what we're gonna look at first, this is the table where we're seeing what the return on investment was based on the comic books we bought. And the first table we're gonna look at is in the green. Okay, gang, up here, this guy here. and this one we ended up paying a total of 137 dollars us included 74 books okay and right now and this is the one that the prices are pretty accurate actually this one except for the gi combat and the vertigo war comics which is the second column down which totals 156 dollars except for those ones the rest of them are pretty solid accurate numbers okay so we ended up paying 137 dollars for 76 74 books which was a dollar 85 per unit per comic that it cost us and right now with me doing a price check it ended up being a total of 824 dollars uh, us which is a 500 percent return right and annualized return on investment basically the if you calculate that because this is over a six-year period right we bought these things in 2015 and right now they're uh 2021 so six years same month february right so after six years it was 500 percent return and a 500 percent return split over a six-year period comes out to 
annualized 34.88 percent per year which is a phenomenal return okay phenomenal return which basically ended up making making the comics per unit be worth about approximately eleven dollars per comic book right cashiering sins wow good return seems better than my stocks how do you know which comics to buy well that's the kicker i'm not only buying comics based on investing right i buy comics because of the love of it as well that's one thing i wanted to really get across through my comic book videos and i really planned it out from the first comic book video we put out which was a 15 minute introduction to a set of comic books that we're putting out right and in that i said look there's multiple reasons why i am in this genre right investing is one of them the love of comic books is another the historical importance of comic books is another they're they're they're, they're beautiful art is another the storytelling is another there's multiple reasons the 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 chill factor of just amazing opening up a comic book to read and it it takes you away to places that nothing else can take you because one of the things that i've began to realize and i've heard other people say as well one of the reasons graphic novels comic books are so powerful is because they work the right and left side of the hemisphere at the same time right you're you're seeing visuals art and you're reading text so that's incorporating both the left side of your brain working together there aren't too many things that do that in regards to consumption of entertainment or knowledge or information right so what i invest in is what i love right what i find interesting and this return wasn't the same as you can tell from the table and the purple is probably that's the least accurate right because you could probably buy those on the cheap cheap on ebay instead of going to the uh, going with the price guide listings right except for like a handful of the issues there okay but the green is legit okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna dig down into the green let me show you what we got here okay this is the green broken down take a look at that uh, table for a second and let me show you what we got as a snack we had to reward ourselves we went and got some more lemon meringue pie what a beautiful thumbnail right there right what a beautiful thumbnail lemon meringue pie and comic book data layered with mathematics and a little statistics and investing in personal finance a nice greenery in the back right i hope you got delicious snacks gang i hope you got delicious snacks right i hope you got delicious snacks chicho update my friend uh friend's bank account has been empty <laughs> now no not not to trust someone on the internet who claims to be an african king from nigeria most likely but my friend now has a deal with someone who has inherited a small fortune and needs my help to prevent taxation <laughs> oh, funny funny now from what i understand if someone has your bank account number they can pull money out anytime they want which is very trippy to me so delicious crack i'm glad to see uh crack is mentioning i'm glad to see you've tried to pull from different sources the price guide is classically overpriced uh, some of the stuff is underpriced check this out there were mainly the price guides the comic price guide and most price guides comic book realm um they were they're mainly overpriced for most of the books however they are underpriced severely on some very important collectible books that are going for a lot more um, i've noticed that so don't sell your comics based on comic book price guides listings because they might be fetching a much higher price it's lemon meringue pie it's fantastic kenny roberts 
I've eaten a lot of pies during the streams in the last year or two. Right? I would imagine price is also based on what people are willing to pay. Indeed, Birdie here. As availability gets low, if you get the right buy buyer, the price can increase a lot. Yeah. I'm still looking out for a detective call to the whole man. If I ever get it, we're going to read it. Crack. Modern comics are more difficult to track with the guide. Like the modern variant covers. Hard to track. Hard to track. Crack. Right. Uh, Kenny Roberts. Yeah. I used to make lots of those uh, at my uh, diner. Nice, Kenny Roberts. Cheryl, canceled the usual Thursday ski night due to an icy road. Oh no, which means Chicho stream, Chicho stream. Warm blanket and a gorgeous cherry stout. Excellent con consolation. Ah, awesome, Cheryl. I'm glad you're set up nicely. Cozy indeed. Chicho, I still can't believe my sister uh, got given my ants comic book collection and sold them all in one go to a pawn shop for lump sum what a tragedy there were a few hundred from the 70s early oh dude check this out crack good point chicho don't rely on one source for do not rely on one source okay Ooh, we got that oh my god lemon meringue <laughs> do you ever use go collect uh enlisted graded book uh sale prices i i've gone there I, it's hard to find um all the comics that you're looking for and i like reading the descriptions as well right and i found even go collect uh had issues with it crack man selling an entire collection at once never pays out it's tough but selling one at a time is so time consuming yeah brutal thing bobber now take a look at this thing okay we bought in the top row in row number two these ones i've numbered row number two secret wars from um 2004 right we bought two sets two full sets number one to five and there was three copies of number five and there was one copy or two copies of uh the one shot one copy of the one shot that came out we paid 25 dollars for it right on eBay is going for 120 on my comic shop approximately 100 remember those are italic okay my uh, comic book price guys was listing them at set $96 and comic book realm had it at 76 so this is a perfect example crack of the first place that I noticed that eBay prices were a lot more than comic book guide prices right so I averaged those across and it came out to $98. And that's the average price that we're using in the main spreadsheet right here, right? The average price that you see here, this column right here, right? That's the last column, okay, that you're seeing on all of our spreadsheets in here. Okay, this column. That's the average column in the main spreadsheet, okay? most weren't exactly worth a lot very good example very good example luckily it was one of the first one <laughs> we hit up right now here's the other one check out gi combat okay now the gi combat lot that we bought came with the vertigo comics right so row number three and row number four were together that's why you see a dash on vertigo war comics because that's incorporated with the 35 dollars okay now the vertigo war comics you can get for cover price on ebay if you're lucky someone's got an auction going on you can get them cheaper otherwise most of the people were listing them at cover price right or selling them as a bundle which came out to like 20 dollars. and tell you the truth it, it didn't even list it said it didn't even list in the description of the video all the comics that were in that lot and i didn't in the video that i made in the comic book hall i didn't even show all the videos i went through it so this is an estimation because he said there was 37 comic books there and they were they were graded from and what you see by the way the grade that you see there is the average grade that he was giving right so the average grade for gi combat for the vertical war comics that were meant for the gi combat 
the average grade is seven he had graded them between six and eight okay so he had graded them between fine very fine to um very fine plus okay so that's the grade he was giving them or very yeah it would be very no it would be very fine okay so he was grading them between six and seven, six and eight and i averaged them out and that's the same thing i did for all the spreadsheets that you're going to see the grade that you're seeing there is the average grade he was giving them right between here and here i averaged it and we took a look at those comics at that time and they were this green very accurate we looked at the giant size dracula number five um and uh where is it that that uh, and giant size chillers number one and that was a mint condition and that baby is going for a lot of money right she was she sounds like a lovely woman thing bobber yeah well most weren't exactly worth a lot and and here's the story about the collection my aunt thought my uncle loved comic books and bought him many for many years but he never had the heart to tell her he didn't like them anymore oh oh yeah and you didn't tell her uh, she was she passed many years ago which is why he eventually gave them to us ah okay master of kung fu still for sale no no so take a look at this thing so gi combat and stuff gi combat prices are high for higher grade one thing i noticed when i was digging down to these comic books right the prices for these things the lower grades they've done a little bit of move up the high grade comics they've gone through the roof their their prices have gone up a lot a lot a lot so gi combat at the time wasn't that expensive six years ago when i was buying it right right now trying to get a gi combat from that period and the numbers you have to watch the comic book hall to see them right the what numbers they were um but the gi combat from that period from the 70s they were all in the 70s these ones uh are going for a lot okay so the average price of the gi combats on ebay i said 110 dollars on my comic shop was a lot it was approximately 184 dollars i thought and again on comic book price guides uh on comics price guide on legend sites on comics price guide they were only listed at like 74 75 but on comic realm they went up to 163 right so one of them is adjusting their prices the other one hasn't got around to adjusting them okay oh i'm gonna time you out bal are we timing out bal i'm gonna time them out oops that's time to time to do it out oh where did we go let's time them out actually let's ban them oh nice you gotta take it out elder god you're welcome to bring out your sword and take off some heads <laughs> we're talking horror comics right now <laughs> so it's justified <laughs> I thought I was getting timed out for asking uh, for Dracula. No, no, no. Sorry, Ding Bobber. Beat you, I think. You did all the God. Now, that's the prices for GI Combat. GI Combat was going, had gone up. Master of Kung Fu, right? There was a lot that we bought. It was Master of Kung Fu. The guy had listed it for twelve fifty, and I think I paid twelve dollars for it. I mean, I was gonna buy it for twelve, but I, I just had to make an offer. So twelve fifty, right? They're high grade. They were very fine plus to near mint he'd listed them at, right? We bought it for $12. On eBay, they're going for around 92. My comic shop for 130. Comic book price guide, 120 and 146. That was a good buy, right? That was a great buy, right? The Dracula comics, six issues, uh, they were high grade they're going for more on my comic shop than eBay or the price guide again the comics price guide is listing them is the cheapest listing that I could find okay 
giant size dracula number five again the price varies a lot so we take the average giant size chiller number one has shot up especially in 9.0 bam already done already done <laughs> nice now the one that has really gone up is giant size chiller which is the first appearance of dracula's daughter right and the copy we have those copies that we have they're really fantastic shape i need to track those ones down if i can good elder god good right and then those are the rest of the prices uh giant size werewolf two and three are fetching a good price right the doctor strange stuff was that's that was where i saw a huge discrepancy on ebay they're going for cheap cheap but on my comic shop they're going for a lot more uh same with the price guys they're listed higher so the way i see it right if you're gonna do be doing buys for the things that haven't shot up a lot right that aren't hot it's you could usually find pretty good deals on ebay okay for th for things that are just um or sorry the things that have shot up a lot my comic shop or my comic shop usually adjusts pretty correctly but um some of these price guys actually have um forums where you can buy and sell comics right i've never done it on their on their sites but it might be better hitting them up than going on my comic shop or ebay because things that are hot are going for a fair bit on ebay right on the flip side if you're trying to buy randoms i mean remember gang when i ended up buying this six years ago this was random right we paid 65 dollars total for the draculas for stuff right now that is worth take take it oh i forgot to number the rows oops i see a mistake row number eight and then i forgot to number nine ten so my numbering is off there i have to correct that right but take take from row number six all the way down right all of those comics together we paid 65 dollars for right where you see price paid look at what they're going for now right 110 just on ebay right 110 110 that's 220 250 add another 50 300 add another 30 40 dollars 340 dollars you pay 65 dollars you get 340 dollars right and at the bottom okay yeah valuable comics random buys right there's some amazing comic books put out there and by the way gang the quality of the art the quality of the story does not dictate price you will see when we look at some valiant comics and some other comics uh in the daredevils and even doctor strange right the most expensive comics are not necessarily the best drawn written or story uh comic books they're just the ones that have a key issue happening or they're rare or whatnot right but basically what you see at the bottom four rows there is the calculations that we did with the formulas right with these formulas okay the return on investment right the row number unfortunately in this spreadsheet the numbers are off row number 11 fourth from the bottom return on investment is basically our da -da 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 -da, our top formula there that you're seeing which is return on investment roi equals current price minus price paid divided by price paid times 100 which is basically 100 percent. so you're talking about percentages right so the return on investment on this buy would range between 400 percent or 370 percent based on the comics price guide to 650 percent right on uh, my comic shop with average being 500 right the annualized annual annualized uh return on investment is this formula that we're using which is da -da 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 -da. 
the bottom formula okay the bottom formula is the middle formula rewritten to isolate the R okay is the bigger goal to sell some, uh, some or all listed uh, to then add that dollar amount to the spreadsheet at at some point we've already sold some by the way crack and I've already created spreadsheets for those right I just hadn't done it for uh, actually some of the comics that we sold were part of uh, buys that we did recently so at some point we're gonna look at some of the comics we sold last year on eBay and do a price track and stuff like this but unfortunately I didn't do it at the time so the prices have done movements right like we sold venom number three and four we sold venom number three for ten dollars the most recent venom or twenty dollars and venom number three for sixty dollars venom number uh, four is going for hundred two hundred dollars and venom number three is right now is going for in the, in the condition we sold it is going for three hundred dollars two three four hundred dollars or something like this right so the prices have moved so i didn't i wasn't able to zap the prices at the time of um uh what do you call it we did sell it at the time but it didn't do the averages right but we're just going to build data i wouldn't lie my grandparents were loaded and when i inherited my grandfather's collection i got some very good tribute stuff nice crack that would be interesting to see the whole story purchase price average and then actual yeah yeah that's the plan crack that's the plan fortunately my parents were indifferent to these stupid comics haha <laughs> those are the best places you can buy comics those are the best places you can buy comics right so this was a fantastic buy out of the whole buys that we did this was the best buy and the last two rows that you see there okay what I did was take took the annualized return on investment the third row from the bottom the row that's called number 12 right now but it's not really number 12 right number 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 12 jason white good evening right i took that return 30 percent for example for this one for ebay listing right and i extract extrapolated out using compound interest of what the comic books would be worth into 2030 right 10 years from now 15 years from date of purchase and the formula we use is the middle formula the compound interest formula and that's the video that we put out with maximizing revenue right so what we did we used the first formula to figure out return on investment we took that return on investment that was over a six-year period we did the calculation reverse calculation to find out what that interest would have would be compounded if it was per year right annualized return on investment and then we use that per year calculation to figure out extrapolate out what the comics might be worth in the future right so take the future calculations the bottom two rows with a huge grain of salt right we paid according to this we paid 137 dollars in 2015 right right now on average they're worth 824 dollars or on ebay six hundred and ninety dollars which is gang that's legit i know i have them italic right but that's pretty close to what they're worth right so 400 percent return if you're calculating ebay and some of the stuff you can't find on ebay you would have to go to my comic shop and my comic shop prices are like a thousand or go hit up somewhere else and i know people buy from my comic shop right so average 500 percent return pretty legit and that came out to a 50% return and annualized uh, sorry it was 34.88% uh, return per year compounded right over a six-year period and if we extrapolate that if we assume that that's what it's going to grow for the next 10 years which is a pretty big assumption then the $137 that we spent in 2015 would be worth $12,000 in 2030 okay so this is the way you're reading this data set now this this row here these two rows is what I'm talking about right in 2030 that seems seems far-fetched right really that seems far-fetched 
are these prices maximum prices right now mm, i don't know for some of these they're going to do movements right they're going to do movements there's a reason why um giant chillers number one uh with the first appearance of dracula's daughter is selling for such high prices and i was actually lowballing this a little bit right for it because i couldn't believe what it was going for okay and some of the other comic books from this might be low ball some of the lower end ones might be high ball a little bit right but relative to the high price ones they don't contribute too much more okay jason i love such streams about investing in personal finance awesome jason it's basically a, a fair chunk of what we're doing they sell stupid comics as well fortunately i was able to remove the 1930s box ahead of time oh can i ask you jason white says you can't why can't they just reprint the same comic book uh which would decrease their price uh, they do reprint jason they do reprint for sure right uh, their marvel comics right now is putting out something called facsimile edition which is um print every page is exactly same as it was originally printed including the advertisements right you can find the reprints with new advertisements you can find compilations where the, a certain story arc is told in one volume right sometimes in, in it's anywhere between six comic books to 20 comic books like they're thick right but that doesn't really decrease the value of the original prints if anything that to a certain degree kicks up their value because they're more sought after because they're being remixed reprinted again and again and again so it gives them more it means there's more demand for them right it's a scarcity based uh like collectibles are based on scarcity and uh, desirability right and importance of course i don't seem to have much of much of an effect yeah they often reprint the old stories crack says nothing beats the original though nothing beats the original and it is a collectible collectible market has been around longer than fiat currency okay longer than empires the collectibles market has been around since humanity's been around it is it will remain with us long after every other form of currency is gone including gold including gold right earmark a few specials for the uh little three yeah chicho 100 years interest plan <laughs> crack i've got to run uh, i've got the run of marvel's collector's items classic it reprints a lot of key stories some that came out a very short time before their reprints but they are worth a fraction of those originals indeed right so if you extrapolate out the prices go through the roof now a lot of people might say oh man chicho there's no way these comic books are going to be worth twelve thousand dollars in 10 years i doubt it too i doubt it too however 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 remember remember what we talked about last video not last video two videos ago the m1 number and if you guys want to know what this is all about i don't have the video up on sensor to bit to rumble yet we did the stream three days ago and we talked about what the money supply uh what was happening with the money supply in the united states that's us dollars coming into circulation and in the last year there has been a 40 percent in 75 percent relative to where it started but the total amount of money liquid money fast money that's in circulation right now which is around seven trillion dollars created by the fed right 40 percent of that was created in the last year right there's a reason why there's a huge spike up m1 number right there's a reason why there's a huge spike up in certain items including stocks including collectibles including land what where people are trying to get their hands on hard assets 
because their purchasing power is decreasing and if purchasing power is decreasing if purchasing power is decreasing then you know what when purchasing power decreases there is the possibility that your money is going to be worth less it can't buy as much so you need more of it to buy certain things okay that's why it's not a good idea just to sit on cash cash is king when you need it uh, so you should always have a little bit of cash on hand but you should never be 100 percent cash crack i've got the run yeah okay jason white but why are people interested in the original if it's the same exact paper it's not the same exact same advertisements i mean it's the date right what is the inherent value in it the inherent value is what we give it human beings give it it's the collectability of it it's the importance of it for example nobody would deny i don't care who you are the importance of superman in our cultural lives right and superman first time it appeared to humanity was in action comics number one it's important keep in mind jason right now there are people based on religious belief based on philosophical beliefs based on whatever beliefs that they have they save for their whole lives to do to go visit some land somewhere based on their beliefs right because that has value to them consider collectibles on the same level right just people's interest in the original yeah original art look at the look at the van gogh look at you could buy prints of van gogh and uh dali or any artist you want you can buy prints with posters i have some right fantastic but they're never going to be worth the same as the original not even a fraction of it right what if that that interest is gone over time for sure at some point some collectibles are not worth anything anymore it seems the world is getting more and more digital and such paper copies might not be the most interesting thing for new generations uh here's the thing jason white i tend to disagree right what is bitcoin bitcoin is just a digital collectible really at this point bitcoin is a digital collectible so personally for me i rather right now collect a tangible item than a digital item right all the cryptocurrency not all of them there are the cryptocurrencies which are functioning functioning as currencies right but bitcoin is a digital collectible now wrap your head around that right wrap your head around it the digital collectible that has the benefits of liquidity right now even those plus price fluctuations are fair fairly high this beta is fairly high right but it has it's it's more liquid than comic books than lower end comic books i guess high-end comic books you can always find a buyer for action comics number one you will always find a buyer for giant chiller the row number three that you see here giant chiller number one which is the first appearance of dracula's daughter right crack agreed jason my point exactly those reprints are still on the old newsprint still aged to the same degree it's just not the original comic if you really dig down into any collecting you're going to find some strange things indeed very strange the most liquid money basically m2 is less so yeah m2 is less so All right i mean the collector's item classics when i'm talking about repress yeah oh god let's remember superman was just super in match but the comic book industry uh, in large part was driven uh by the jewish community right like really it was fantastic they had a story to tell and they told it through the realm of comic books why not they saw an opportunity to get together and create and all those people right it's like it, from jack kirby joe simon uh schuster um like really stanley is not but there were others right a lot of people friends just 
companions when they were younger they got together and said hey there's a new industry popping up let's create let's write let's draw let's tell stories why not why not crack going digital might spike the price of the original paper copies indeed that's my take on it crack as well right my that's my take on it 100 percent I've been looking for a superhero's first appearance and related events in the years that followed. Very interesting, very interesting. Gang, we spent a long time on this one because we were breaking it down, right? Let's take a look at the other ones. Here is the Valiance, the purple, right? This is the purple we're gonna look at. And the purple, the take this one, the gains with a grain of salt, right because you could buy lots on eBay really cheap except for two or three of the comics in the valiance okay I'll leave that up so you guys can take a look at it for those of you who are interested in valiant comics right and movies shoot the value to the moon and movies shoot the value to the moon and scarcity scarcity is huge I have comic books that like graded comic books and non graded comic books that uh, there's only like two of them in the database of graded for CGC, right? Meringue, 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 just a meringue. everything is connected heck yeah they do Cheryl yeah now just take a look at this one valiant comics now remember what I said it doesn't matter the price does not really reflect the 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 quality of the story being told in the comics right because what you see here that I bought in this purple lot right is the valiant comics um, a huge chunk of them of the relaunch in 2012 and a handful of them from the original Valiant run from uh, 1992 right I bought them at a good price at the time like for example take a look at row number six Harbinger 0 to 19 this series ran for 25 issues right I paid $28 for it US in mint condition right near mint mint near mint the guy listed in mint it's just near mint basically right it was a collector i paid 28 dollars on ebay you could probably get it for 20 dollars if you're lucky right and i took the lowest one i could find on my comic shop it goes for 60 on the comics price guide is 80 and 80 together and average came out to 60 but basically i paid more for it six years ago than it's going for right now that comic book run harbinger number zero to 25 right is one of the greatest comic book series ever written one of them there are hundreds of them it is one of the greatest comic book reads of series that i've ever done right that along with the bloodshot that you see above zero to 18 which ran for 25 issues i believe as well as well as the one above that which is row four which is the harbinger wars that row four five six if you complete the series for bloodshot on harbinger are some of the most amazing comic books ever told if you love superhero comic books and they're going for the cheap okay they're cheaper now in large part except for harbinger wars than they were when i bought them <laughs> right doesn't reflect price does not reflect quality okay jason white would you say that investing in collections in general as a category whether comic books or art or anything else consider a risky investment um not necessarily uh, for example salvador mundi M mundi painting was sold for four million dollars in uh 20 2018 but can you imagine that in 2005 it was sold for like 10,000 and the art was made like 500 years ago so it took it 500 years to be very well appreciated in the market what are what are your thoughts on that uh, money laundering 
huge chunk of it could be considered you could attribute it to money laundering okay it's just our current economic system that's the way it works right uh it's a tax haven it's a tax um using the tax system manipulation right uh a huge chunk of it is related to m1 the monetary supply coming up inflation devaluation of the currency there is a lot of things at play right there's a lot of things at play and the odds are or there's a possibility that this thing two years from now may only sell for a million right it's risky right but so is the stock market ask those people that had their life savings in enron or xerox right fibble fibble shows house sorry this is a bit off topic uh do you own any stocks right now uh, i think you have the perfect mentality to do well in the long term i have i know how to trade stocks i know how to trade stocks i i, uh, I did a fair bit of it 20 years ago okay and we do talk about stocks by the way crack i pulled out pure gold storytelling wise from the dollar bins still worthless to this day but some of my favorite stories crack right there with you right but it's not worthless i would not get rid of the comic books that i bought for a dollar which are amazing stories for ten dollars ten times return or twenty dollars twenty times return because i would have to go find them again and i might not be able to find them right jason white it was bought by saudi arabian government not money laundering <laughs> crown prince of saudi arabia to be put in art exhibit uh, yeah the prince of saudi arabia bought it it's money laundering it's payback it's paying debts it it's 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 devaluation of currency that is literally the definition of money laundering in in our current economic system it's it's using the tax system the bureaucracy in play right now to do what you want with the currency that you have okay apparently to promote tourism in saudi arabia in the future yeah it, it, there's more to it there's more to it. crack should have put uh worthless in quotes worthless to some but not to me in the least yeah me too crack i would love to see a graph of grade versus age of comic in your uh collection uh collection sorry i have my reason yeah elder god I, at some point we'll get into it i've uh, a while ago i started looking at the prices of grays and that's one thing i was doing trying to get the feel for it that's one of the reasons i bought the comic book price guys over street comic book pr price guys because what's happening right now consider this okay in the real estate sector uh developers large developers this is what they do they buy a chunk of land right and let's say they're going to be building a hundred homes on that land 100 200 homes on that land right detached houses or or condos or whatever it is right and i know this because i have been in the industry right they buy a huge chunk of land let's say they have 200 homes that they're going to be building and selling what they do on top of the hill right where everybody can see it they built their show homes they built the high-end stuff right so out of 200 homes let's say they have they're going to build around 10 of them that are million plus dollar homes or two million or five million dollar plus homes right and the rest of them they're going to build ranging in price from one hundred fifty thousand dollars for duplexers or condos to five hundred thousand dollars eight hundred thousand dollars right and then what they do they set up their show home on top of the hill in these mansions some of them lo run lotteries and say they're going to give away one of these homes right they furnish them and they sell nine out of ten they give one away and while they're selling these really expensive homes right one by one they build them or two by two they build them they start building the other layers of homes and they sell a lot of those homes sometimes at inflated prices the reason being is because they're directly linked up with these high-end homes right 
so what you see in the collectibles market as well right is with a oh cough uh, princess market and cough off <laughs> sorry that's something in my throat <laughs> i want to see spikes in prices for low uh great high price yeah and elder god this is what's going this is my prediction of what's happening right now is right or my analysis to a certain degree there is there are runs where they have one or two key issues or maybe five or six key issues or six or seven key issues right or they came out during a key period right the key period maybe certain artists were working on those comic books or the print runs of those comics were low and we're seeing that in a lot of the comics that came out in the late 1990s there were low print runs and some of the prices on the low print runs of the last few issues of some of the runs from marvel and dc and other comic book uh, companies are higher than the number ones that came out right because there's more of the number ones around so scarcity base and whatnot right but what we're seeing right now or what we've seen is the key issues or perceived key issues or the hot issues are going through the roof boom 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 right and there is certain runs out there where the lower grades are really cheap relative to the high grades they're really cheap right that to me means the lower grades haven't started doing the movement yet right so if you know your industry well right what you can do is it doesn't need to be comic books could be other industries for example the person buying this art they knew maybe maybe right but if you know your industry well, your collectible market well you can find the issues that are hot keys and then ride the wave of the rest right either in high grade or low grade some of these comic books you cannot find in high grade anymore that means anyone that wants to get them has to go down to a lower grade right that's going to increase the demand of the lower grades and kick up the prices okay it's just extrapolation right and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital as power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org or our julian assange playlist on sensor 2. and by the way let me point out two things here okay Oop. the ones that you see here solar number three exo man of war number one and then up here in the shadow man run we have the first appearance of punk mumbo as well so that shadow man run i bought you know zero to 14 i bought for 20 dollars, and just one of the comics there shadow man number 13 is the first appearance of punk mumbo generally selling for more than that 20 dollars. okay and the run that you see here xo lot that i bought here for 20 dollars. okay included a whole bunch of comic books xo number two xo number uh whatever whatever whole bunch of exos bunch of solar comics right and in that lot that i paid twenty dollars for it included exo number one and solar number three the first appearance of harada and first appearance of um exo man of war those two alone are worth thirty dollars right i paid twenty dollars and the rest of the comics i just on ebay i just priced it out at forty dollars right so that twenty dollar buy basically covered the whole buy that we did for everything else right i'm looking for everything artists release numbers social events in the moments and now yeah and elder god here's another thing you can look at you we're going to see it in the daredevil comics advertisements of first issues that are going to be coming up or advertisements of first appearances of a key character one of them we're going to see in daredevil comics is an advertisement for uh, incredible hulk number 181 which is the first appearance of wolverine or first full appearance of wolverine and in the daredevil comic there was an advertisement for actually uh, i believe for incredible hulk number 181 and it's going for a higher price now on ebay it's kicked up right 
is it that easy to distinguish the originals from non originals for sure legally they actually have to put the date is it the first print second print third print fourth print now what you're talking about is counterfeit comic books and there are counterfeit comic books out there one of the best known counterfeit comic books out there is cerebus number no. one cerebus number no. one is a comic book that was created by one of the greatest independent comic book creators in history which is dave sim he came out with cerebus in 1978 i believe crack correct me if i'm wrong on this but 1978 cerebus number no. one hit the stands right and he cerebus the story of cerebus ran for 300 issues three decades it ran for three plus decades right three decades right so and issue number one at the time in the early 1990s late 1980s it was selling for a couple of hundred dollars or so and counterfeit someone created counterfeit copies of service number one and was selling counterfeit copies of service service number one the counterfeit copies are not considered to be worth a fraction of what the originals are worth some people don't even pay anything for the counterfeit some people do right my interest is social free julian assange jason white do you have a video uh, on youtube where you compare original versus non-original original versus non-original uh we've read uh, uh second prints uh, check out one of the uh, on sensor to my comic book playlist scroll down find reading of solar mana the atom number 10. we see the first print and we see the second print the second print has a two on the cover right inside is identical okay but the second print goes for a quarter or one sixth the price of the first print okay crack then you get into marvel stamps in comic book in some books yeah mark jewels inserts yeah mark jewels inserts uh crack dave sim is very important to the world of self-publishing indeed extremely important i hadn't heard that story of service yeah 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 crack there's counted counted for versions of service number one uh, I, I looked into this a while ago and i believe the counter counterfeit version the cover is more orange um i've never had the opportunity to buy service number one so i don't uh there was a time i was looking for it so i read up on what the differences were so i you know i could make sure i didn't buy a counterfeit but uh i forget what it was okay so this is the valiant let's get into daredevil d d d d here's daredevil the first row and let me bring this up again and by the way i bought these comic books in anticipation that the daredevil con the daredevil tv series on netflix was going to be good and it was the prices didn't do a huge move up okay you can see here we paid the you know average price the the orange that you see here these guys here so i bought 10 daredevil lots one of my favorite their favorites daredevil yeah i love daredevil right so i bought uh 10 daredevil lots okay and what we're gonna do right now is take a look at each one of those lots in its own spreadsheet so far previously all we did we looked at the green and the purple in one spreadsheet complete we're breaking down the daredevil because that contained 120 bucks that was a fair chunk of the buy and those are the ones that the price fluctuations were significant significant simulation of sim crack tv doesn't seem to have much an effect on prices for now i wonder if the new wave of marvel tv shows will change that yeah i gang and look at look at marvel disney comics came out a few months ago bought the rights to predator and the rights to alien predator number one for years for years from dark horse comics that they put out for years you could have bought it for ten dollars fifteen dollars right up to a year ago you could have bought predator number one from dark horse comics that came out in 19 this is late 1980s late 1980s i believe for 10 15 dollars right disney comics bought disney buys it disney which is marvel 
Predator Comics number one shoots up to 150 to 200 dollars, goes up 10 times in a matter of two weeks. Okay, I approve of that joke. <laughs> As I that, I approve of that joke. <laughs> I don't know what joke that was. Simulation of Sim. Ah, uh, Simulation of Sim. Dave Sim. Is that what it was? Oh my god. I approved too, Craig. I knew you were appreciated. Crack had to point it out. I wasn't sure. Was, it didn't ring too much with me, but it does now. Uh, Jason White. Comic book reading. Solar Matter Yum number 10. That's the one. Okay. Predator number one. I have that. You have that. Elder God. If it's in really good copy, mint grade it's going for a couple of hundred bucks last time i checked which was like a month ago or something like this right and by the way there are predator comic books out there that we bought i bought uh, remember a, a comic book haul we did like five months ago or something we bought predator number because i already have number one so so i don't know i don't know disney's got the rights to predator are they gonna link up predator with spider-man Sell, sell, sell. If I have five copies, I sell one, right? Uh, but uh, what do you call it? Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, I forgot my train of thought. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Oh yeah, Predator. Uh, Predator because Predator was a four issue miniseries, right? So we bought issue number two. I have issue number one, and I think I have issue number two. I didn't know if I had three and four, but we bought two, three, and four for like a dollar each. Right now, I'm pretty sure they're a lot higher than a dollar each, right? And it's return on investment right if number two three and four for example if predator number one was selling for ten dollars now it's selling for 200 right that's 20 times your return if you bought predator number two for a dollar and it's selling for 25 dollars that's 25 times return better return than if you had predator number one right so it's not the actual uh total value that has gone up it's the rate of return right rate of return this row here this percent right there rate of return that's what you're looking for whenever you're doing investing and what you're looking to do on a yearly basis is hit this up annualized rate of return how much you're getting per year if you put your money in a savings account right now you get zero at best one in europe negative percent that means you're losing money every year that your money stays in the bank right if you make a good investment on the stock market where they're giving you dividend yield right you're getting great return is five percent yield right your great return on the stock market on average before all these bubbles if you're making six percent return per year annualized you're doing phenomenal over a six-year period we did 24 percent return okay take it with a grain of salt call it 15 percent return pretty damn good pretty damn good you haven't read it don't read it <laughs> you okay you reduce the grade right check out daredevil okay now i wish i remembered which one was the one i think it's this one i think it's daredevil number 43 no it won't be daredevil number 43 right and these are the average prices uh no sorry for this lot for lot number one on daredevil he actually listed the grade for each one because there were lower numbers on there right so for me i paid 30 dollars for this lot which included one two three four five six seven eight comic books 30 dollars us for eight comic books that were low grade two to four right and these were the actual grades that he gave them and the price movements and i did a price per unit that's what i did i took the 30 dollars divided by eight you get 375 that's the price i paid per unit and those are the movements that you see there the return and right now for these ones that you see they're a lot lower than what we we're getting on the dracula on the random buys right take out the, check out the random buys oops check out the random buys we're talking annualized rate of return of 
34 30 to 40 percent right the dd is between 10 to 20 percent right Jason White, this is completely new world to me, but I'm willing to uh, diversify. Perhaps I put five to thousand dollars. Do you recommend someone like me, who doesn't read comic books, to invest in this field, or do you think interest in comic books is is a requirement for good investment in this field? Uh, no, Jason White, White, this is like any type of investment. Obviously, if you know your comic books, you'll be able to find the great deals, right? you'll be able to find the ones that are going to be the hot ones, right? You're going to find the artists that you love, right? You're going to know more about the industry. But there are people that buy comic books as a divestment. And by the way, right? Take a look at this thing. This is, consider this diversifying within an industry, right? Sort of. I got, the, this is just one haul. So if you look at my complete we have 43 comic book halls over the last six years seven years that we've done right if you look at the comic book halls that i've done i'm di diversifying over that uh, with my buys right within the field of investing in comic books i'm diversifying my portfolio right there are people who specifically focus on a certain company or a certain character they only buy that right for me i like to diversify the green up top you see it was me diversifying the rate of return on the green was a lot higher than the rate of return on their daredevils and definitely on the valiance right because the valiance you got to take with a huge grain of salt that one okay so you can diversify within a certain field okay war walls being in charge of creating a nation's credit is a lucrative business indeed so 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 is owning a bank that is insured by such an institution such a bank can make all the loans it wants and always get their money back that's the best business i've ever heard of yeah and another great business is some of these technocrats that have been given permission to roll out their own currencies we'll see if it roll if it happens or not I hope not but that is again centralizing more and more power right more interesting uh, interesting looking money uh, yeah, and just to answer your question by the way Jason what I went off on a tangent to answer your question yes you can invest in comic books do a little little bit of research and no matter what where you where you plan on investing if you're gonna buy stocks you better do your research you better not just go out there and buy a stock because people said buy it right do your research if you're going to do investing in any industry do your research but investing in comic books is a legitimate place to invest in i've had this discussion with multiple people over the years and some people just can't wrap their head around collectibles being one of the best places you could have parked your money over the last 500 years of humanity right really especially in the last hundred years of humanity collectibles have been an amazing place to park your money okay but some people just can't wrap their head around right because they they, they don't understand that uh, you know may, maybe they think investing means you have to invest in a factory right it, they don't they don't grasp it and if they don't grasp it this might not be your thing but investing is just about the numbers it's just about the tables it's just about the mathematics of it right uh, if it's not a hobby right if you're investing in something look at the numbers see and think about it this way um, it's the Lindy effect that uh, uh, what's his name uh, Nicholas Talib uh, uh, Nassim Nicholas Talib mentions it and other people have mentioned it think about it this way something that has been around a long time the odds are is still going to be around for the about same amount of period right so for example action comics number one the first appearance of superman is a sought after book fetches high prices in the early 1990s 
Action Comics number one, graded at 9.0, sold for $140,000, and that was turning heads. People were like, oh my God, who would pay $140,000 for Action Comics number one, first appearance of Superman? What a ridiculous product. That's really expensive, right? The last one sold that I know of was three years ago, sold for $3.2 million, right? So Action Comics number one, is a sought after comic books and we in our personal finance videos we did if you on sensor tube on youtube if you go to my personal finance videos we did a comparison of where was a good place to park your money the s p the housing art bitcoin action comics number one representing collectibles and different types of funds gold and all this jazz right action comics number one was the third best performing uh, provide the third best performing rate of return over a hundred year period right number one was bitcoin number two was uh, a fund that started auto trading in 1994 uh, 1994 and in 10 years they had a rate of return of 78 percent per year right okay and action comics number one was i believe the third one and nothing else came close to them okay so do your research it, it doesn't have to be comic books there are other collectibles out there uh there are certain collectibles that collapse the stamp collecting industry collapsed okay maybe it'll pick up again at some point right maybe it'll pick up again at some point maybe it's a great time to buy right legendary rob boss chicho when are you going to start offering diversified comic book ETFs? <laughs> uh, man, every, as far as I'm concerned, uh, if I could, I would. And it's it's not a bad thing. It's like what you're saying is uh, is a legitimate thing to do. Just imagine if I had the ability to create a fund on the stock market and it was a and I, i'd be surprised if there isn't one out there like consider this right now there are hedge funds buying into bitcoin right they're not buying into bitcoin as a cryptocurrency they're buying into bitcoin as a collectible right it's the collectible market being bought by funds right that are on wall street stock market now i'd be surprised if that's the though this is the first time the collectibles industry has come into the stock market i would i'd be willing to bet that there are funds out there that actually invest in collectibles right i'd be surprised if there aren't funds out there that have been buying up key comic books over the years they, if they haven't they're dumb dumbs because if i was given the opportunity let's say someone gave me a billion dollars right now and i had the abilities to open up a fund I would open up a collectibles fund right now and i would be buying up i would use half that money to buy key comic books boom 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 right that's what i would do and then what i would do is set up a museum somewhere where the cost of real estate was extremely cheap or i could use tax loopholes to make sure it didn't cost me anything to maintain that building and you could do it right there's lots of people that do it lots of funds and corporations that do it i would take all of those comic books that i bought right and i would set up a museum right and i would sell tickets that's the dividend right that would be the yield that i would be giving back to people that invest in my fund what that yield would get it, you would have to have to run the numbers but as a safe investment that would be a safe investment that investment like people 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 recommend buying gold to protect your investments right to to protect your capital right gold again is just a, it's a precious metal right it takes energy to consume out of the earth and stuff like this comic books take energy to produce right so they're on the same level of gold people say hedge you know hedge your bets protect your capital have some money in precious metals hedge your bets protect your capital have some money in collectibles 
you might be surprised as what the rate of return is okay if you got uh, ex expendable income and you aren't using it towards combating climate change it turns <laughs> a crack investing in commerce whoa boy lots of research lots of research let but amazing research fun research and joy right legendary raw boss comic investing won't do well during apocalypse though who's gonna pay fifty dollars on an old comic book when you're you're too busy fighting zombies yeah agreed but who's gonna want to buy stocks on wall street when, when you're fighting zombies <laughs> right who's gonna want to carry a bar of gold with them when they're running away from zombies you want the can of pe uh, beans right because that's going to keep you alive for at least another couple of days right it's uh relativistic don't label me a geek but i also collect old currency yeah old currency crack he says in a stream where we are talking about comic book investment <laughs> nice cheryl money for me is old comic books yeah like reads for comics it could totally work cheryl it could totally work it 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 would 100 percent work and i if i had money in reits right now i'd be pulling that money out you, you gotta be crazy I mean, but again don't forget the m1 ta table right some of the history you see on coin yeah it's like a story yeah elder god follow martin armstrong he's an economist that i follow he is one of the best known coin collectors in the world he tells the history he understands world economics based on uh coins old coins as far as i know he's one of the well versed people on collect collecting coins historical coins crack subscribers contribute to a big purchase of a major key to own a part of it yeah totally elder god my wife recently got back into her coin collecting juman juman hat spent 333300 Canadian dollars I guess on Harry Potter trading cards they have exploded in price my collection is worth over 20k really ah oh, good on you man good on you right Jason why why don't you make that idea uh, well I just did <laughs> creating a hedge fund not expensive to create a small one and make it investable for the public and display your actual ROE on the hedge fund um, as a whole and anyone that invests in it you get percent of aum so roe is the amount of money that the person managing the head fund hedge fund gets right like collects right so uh, roe sometimes they say oh this hedge fund uh, is yield is three and a half percent but they don't tell you that the managers take one and a half percent of that so you're getting two percent right uh, that at percent uh, maybe like two percent or five percent or whatever you'd be able to have more access to comic books because you'll have more money and people will have more access in this field making it a more liquid market almost all hedge funds earn less than 20 percent oh yeah they earn way less than 20 percent right and um jason white i i don't like bureaucracy there's a lot of bureaucracy involved in that i rather just manage it for my own my own self which I am right now and I'm sharing with it as much of it as I can with you guys right capitalism is evil <laughs> say that name again I was grabbing a beer Elder God. <laughs> who's that crack dinner calls great stream looking forward to future vids on this topic thanks all good to see everyone good to see you too crack and enjoy your dinner enjoy your dinner oh wow we're almost coming up to two hours I'm gonna zoom through these daredevil uh tables gang the, all the links to these tables will be in on, on our patreon page okay i've linked them up uh we already found one error but that's just a numbering error down the side i'll fix that up speedy gonzalez style okay so this is row one okay let's zoom through these here is the row two take a look at that these are daredevil issue numbers right the daredevils that were the higher grades have done movements okay here's the the first one the goods haven't gone up too high in price the higher grade you go in the daredevil comics the more they're worth their price increases having have gone have gone up more significantly than the lower grade ones so the lower grade comics haven't done a price movement maybe they never will 
right but maybe they will but this is mid-grade that basically price paid per unit was 255 right and if you take a look at that it's, it's ranging anywhere from 10 to 15 dollars now right while the previous one price paid was 375 and price paid per unit on ebay is two dollars so i lost money on that one on the lower grade so the lower grades have gone down actually in value right but if you go to mid grade or higher you're seeing the prices have not only stayed the same they've gone up okay uh, across the board on ebay my comic shop comics price guide and comic book realm right so these are dare daredevil 46 to 97 and they were graded between 4 to 6.5 and i just averaged that out to 5.5 i know it's 5.25 but i kicked it up to 5.5 okay jason white thank you for opening my eyes into collectibles as a place to diversify i have zero percent of collectibles in my portfolio i'll change that because of your stream awesome jason white i hope it works out for you and be careful man and don't buy into the hype do research i usually categorize my portfolio based on risk would you think collectibles in general should be categorized as a very high risk so little percent of total per yeah it really depends man like for me this is what i invest in this is this is you know you shouldn't have all your eggs in one basket and i but my comic book basket is pretty large the other basket i have money in is the content that i create right i'm diversifying in a different way than what wall street and stuff wall street says diversify within wall street into uh um, precious metals oil commodities retail and all this to me that's one sector that's it right wall street to me is gambling more than anything right uh so do your research but certain things are more volatile than others golden age comic books in general are some of them are very very cheap relative to modern age comic books modern age comic books do the high movements right consider them the uh, pink sheets or off the main uh, main radar right of the high-end collectibles to a certain degree but there are some that are extremely valuable that are modern especially since their print runs are ridiculously low okay so there's a lot of comic books on that front as well um, it's just it, it is what it is right and so those of you that are interested in daredevil this is number two and i'm going to bring up some of the other ones while i read you the following information here's number three don't forget gang free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity right for more information see wikileaks.org or our julian assange wikileaks playlist on sensor 2. okay and here's daredevil 43. now check this out is daredevil 40 what was the last one i believe is daredevil oh, which one is the one with captain america 43 or 46 oh i forget which one it was i should have made little notes here but it was going through so much stuff there's one of them where daredevil is fighting captain america and that one is going up in price especially the mid mid to high grades uh cashern sends thank you for redeeming 500 points but remember uh, at some point this year we're going to hold auctions where you can redeem your points for uh things that we're going to be auctioning off especially some of the comic books that i printed okay here's daredevil on the four okay and some of these there were multiple copies if you look at row number four i had three copies of issue number 84 okay that's why the price is 625 per unit and ebay sold is 12 dollars. and daredevil number 84 is the first um, byron work at marvel i believe um, john byrne not byron byrne john byrne i believe it's the first john byrne work at marvel uh, one one artist one of the first artists uh, his first work there i would like to see this these spreadsheets again i can't zoom too well on twitch oh okay uh, elder god go to our patreon page i posted high res uh they're on patreon yeah uh, 
on my patreon page the last post that i know the last post was me saying hey i'm back uh via's doing well uh so the second last uh, uh post that i made in patreon and if you're watching this video after the fact after the live stream on sensor to bitchute or, or uh rumble uh i'll have the link in the description of this video where you can see all of these spreadsheets okay here's here's the fifth daredevil lot okay these ones didn't do price movement barely any right jason white i'm looking for a book to introduce me uh how to properly invest in collectibles want to look for etc uh do you know of a good book i i actually don't i'm sorry uh crack he's on he went on dinner break uh family dinner uh he might know but one thing you can do jason white we do have a discord page you can go to our discord and go to our personal finance that's our discord link you can go to our personal finance playlist uh not playlist folder and ask a question there and someone might have a link for you okay or post we have a comic books folder as well you can post a question there as well okay here is uh the six lot that we bought for daredevil okay and again these were graded uh very fine uh fine minus right ended up paying 20 dollars for these and these are into the you know hundreds now right the the issue number right and the rate of return is is not bad on them right not bad at all even on ebay right and there's a reason why some of these are making a move i think it's issue number yeah i believe it's issue number by the way with the i believe the incredible hulk advertisement incredible hulk issue number 181 advertisement that was in the daredevil comic that's kicking the price up i think it's issue number 115 of daredevil okay chicho i don't follow on patreon i have real trouble with that app on my phone okay uh, elder god i'll post them on discord okay I'll post them on Discord as well. Um, I'll post them probably in the comic books folder. Okay. That way we keep it there. I might create a new folder, uh, images and pics. Actually, we probably have to do that. I have to do that for the math stuff. So maybe we're going to create a new uh, main folder, uh, which is basically reasonable rate of return. <laughs> reasonable rate of return. <laughs> reasonable rate of return <laughs> right uh, so we'll talk about it we'll talk about it. maybe create a new folder we'll call it something where I'm gonna load up a lot of images and tables and stuff here is the um, seventh daredevil lot that we bought right again 126 uh, yeah 126 went up I'm not sure why 126 was on the higher up maybe that's the incredible hulk one advertisement right and the higher grade not bad return it's okay not compared to the dracula stuff though here's the eighth row the higher grade ones were um the higher numbered daredevils that i bought were in better condition right we're in better condition but the rate of return on this wasn't very good not very high right we made 30 percent i see you figured out how to move folders I, for some reason it started working for me again elder god it wasn't working for me before i'm doing the exact the same thing here's row number nine okay check that out issue number 163 64 and 60 uh, yeah 163 and 64 they are going for a good price on eBay they're also listed at a good price on my comic shop um, comics price guide and comic book realm the two price guides there too right so they did a move which was good uh, and they're related to Electra that's the Electra story arc with uh, Frank Miller uh, writing the stories anything that beats the US stock market is a great investment the only thing that is missing in those spreadsheets is uh, measurement of risk but the returns are crazy the returns are crazy uh, there's there's one other thing that's not that's also missing right so the beta is missing on this the fluctuation in the prices right the other thing is missing this is book value right 
so in the stock market you can sell your stock you pay your fees you're done the fees for this depending on where you're selling them and who you're selling them to and how fast you're selling them right is not included so comic books are not as liquid if you want to dump everything in one shot you're not going to get primo price if you sell them one at a time and wait for the right buyer you'll get premium price right the other thing is the fees involved in selling so if you sell your comics through an auction house auction house takes anywhere between 20 to 33 percent of whatever they sell things for right or maybe let's say 15 to 33 percent okay ebay takes you know if you're going through ebay and paypal you're losing about 20 percent right of the selling price right so you can you know th there is a certain cost in liquidating these assets these collectibles and there's the time constraint it's not as liquid as the stock market or as digital collectibles crypto collectibles right so there is that factor associated as well probably probably uh, an update it was stupid it wasn't automatic oh yeah 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 probably an update regarding discord legendary rob boss have you had success investing in any of the esg funds out there esg esg what's esg stand for legendary rob boss i forget jason white why does selling on ebay make sellers lose to because the, they charge fees if they they take a certain percentage of the selling price and then you also have to they also have to pay you through paypal they suppose we ebay is disconnecting from paypal so interesting but uh also paypal takes fees right so you lose some environmental so all oh, social and governance factors no the, the ones i looked at were like 15 years ago 20 years ago and they were they all closed uh closed their their funds uh, they weren't giving any returns they couldn't compete with unrestrained capitalism right environment social governance yeah no they they might start doing well now because a lot of taxpayer money is going to be uh going in that direction right and here's the the tenth lot of daredevil books that we bought okay and these these ones haven't really done a move uh, right they're they're all graded a four so they were lower grade mid lower grade fun fun really super fun super fun and again uh take these with a grain of salt and, and the prices vary on this a lot here's ebay ebay you know i spent 20 i spent 15 to get these books and on ebay i estimated that it was going to be you could sell it for like tw uh, $20 so it's five dollar return over six years which is chump change 32 percent over five years nothing right if you went to my comic shop it was a lot higher right and then those three my comic shop is a retailer and consignment they sell consignment and these two are price guides so according to those it wasn't it wasn't bad but according to ebay where auction house it was uh it wasn't that great right so i'm gonna put this up again the final data which is that's what we looked at right unit price paid in 2015 dollar 95 that included shipping unit price that is worth in 2021 714 right which is 267 percent uh rate of return return right and annualized it's uh 24 percent right legendary rob boss chicho when investing in reits how can you be sure if the dividends are coming from rent payments or wholesales only i don't want to invest in rentals um i don't know you have to look into it brother i've actually never invested in reits um they really hit the scene in a big way after trillions of dollars uh was given to wall street after the 2008 
scam that happened when Citigroup was basically uh, took over Obama's administration, right? And they bought out all the all the uh, houses and threw out like 10 million people into the streets and stuff, right? Now they got sorry, Chicho. I personally leave out information when talking to no Americans. I've noticed a very interesting fact. Fun. One of the kitty cats is awake. I wonder which one it is. One more bite of lemon meringue pie. Pop and one more. Pop and one more. Right. Look at that goodness. gang i hope you enjoyed the live stream apologies about delaying today's stream but family matters i'm so bored mundane things have become fascinating to me <laughs> data is great elder god digging into the data is beautiful keeps me occupied that's for sure gang i'm gonna take down the table Don't forget, free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org or follow the work that we're doing on uh, Sensor 2 on our Julian Assange on Wikileaks playlist. Ding Bobber, Chicho, Via will be up and running around after the opioids leave his system. I know. He needs he needs to rest for a couple of days though. We just want to make sure he's okay. Okay, gang. Uh, and I'm gonna go check on him now. And uh, as far as this stream, we will follow this up. Maybe we're gonna do uh, four or five more comic book hauls that we've done, take some of the data. And then once we got a little bit more data and i want to diversify the information we have right so we're going to look at the prices of things that we bought you know golden age romance golden age western um you know other types of comic books we bought just to see get a feel for what it means to diversify your investment in comic books and do and then we'll do more mathematics and look at some of the other metrics related to um prices of comics and definitely look into uh how much the grade um prices fluctuate based on grade and how the prices of grades have fluctuated over time but if we're going to be at this for a long time it's going to take us a while right jason y chicho can you check this image i found a book where it has listings of many different collectibles in it um jason white you can't post links on our chat it's sort of a thing we put up right uh you can post links on our discord and by the way jason white look into overstreet overstreet price guide over street uh price guide this is one of the companies that uh, puts out price guides for comic books and they have they put out booklets for different types of collectibles as well, including, you know, they have Star Wars toys and stuff like this. They're mainly focused on comic books, but they do have booklets that they put out yearly on collectible industry and they list important stuff and whatnot. Look into that. Okay. That should give you a good starting point. Sal, come here. I need you. All the gods said just what it talks about different kinds of collectibles and how the price change changed over years and reasons, etc. I just got this book now while watching your stream. Awesome, awesome. Jason, join our Discord, man. Let us know what the book is and what you think about it. Okay. Because I love the comic book collectible industry. Second delay. Gang, thank you for being here. As for what this is all about i am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho chycho if you want to follow this work if you want to support this work if you want to know what this work is about which as you should be able to tell right now is layered on mathematics follow our work on patreon okay i don't put anything behind paywalls everything's creative commons share share like and if you 
believe this work deserves your support and if you want to see more of this type of content rolled out support this work through patreon that'll ensure that we're able to continue to do what it is that we are doing we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c h o c c h y c h o l i v e if you want to participate in the chat that's happening on this side today okay twitch is where you want to be at and uh gang for you as well and the gang on patreon thank you for the support thank you for being here it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this work okay i do announce these live streams usually 30 minutes before we go live on parlor hello minds vk gab and twitter and we do have a discord page martin's memory nice stream thank you i'm glad you enjoyed and hello you can go to our twitch channel anytime you want <coughs> and in the chat type in social exclamation mark social and all the links will pop up okay and at the bottom you'll see our discord page where you can join our discord server lots of love lots of love to you as well martin's martin's memory thank you for popping in sending us some love for live streams when we don't have any visuals we will be uploading the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chycho is a podcast and those audio files podcasts will be available on soundcloud and itunes okay i will join awesome martin's memory thank you very much for joining movies next batch please i can only watch old boy once yeah for sure old boy was fantastic elder god it was awesome and we will be uploading this live stream this video to yes indeed elder god to youtube bit and rumble and if we have enough points to odyssey and if you're on those platforms you can support this work by liking sharing commenting um, following and if you're on youtube you can join youtube membership and there's a button down there that uh, you can use and for those of you who are supporting this work through youtube membership thank you very much for the support gang i hope you enjoy this content oh i need to catch up on the movies i only got one more to go district nine i gotta rewatch, and then we do in the next batch we do movies for sure gang okay aside from that thanks for being here i'm gonna spend the next few days uploading content to uh sensor to bit shoot and rumble uh sorting things out and i'll probably announce the next set of streams about uh three days from now three or four days from now i'll announce the next set and we'll definitely have two movie streams in there aside from that gang thank you for being here good afternoon all is bitcoin legit digital collectible digital collectible bye everyone <laughs>